William V, Prince of Orange, was the last stadtholder of the Dutch Republic. He went into exile to London in 1795. He was the reigning Prince of Nassau Orange until his death in 1806. In that capacity he was succeeded by his son William. Early life William Batavis was born in The Hague on 8 March 1748, the only son of William IV, who had the year before been restored as Stadtholder of the United Provinces. He was only three years old when his father died in 1751, and a long regency began. His regents were Dowager Princess Anne, his mother, from 1751 till her death in 1759, Dowager Princess Marie Louise, his grandmother, from 1759 to her death in 1765, Duke Louis Ernest de Brunswick Lundberg, from 1759 to 1766, and kept on as a privy councillor until October 1784. Princess Carolina, his sister, from 1765 to William's majority in 1766. William was made the 568th Knight of the Order of the Garter in 1752. Stadtholder William V assumed the position of Stadtholder and Captain General of the Dutch States Army in 1766. On 4 October 1767 in Berlin, Prince William married Princess Wilhelmina of Prussia, the daughter of Augustus William of Prussia, niece of Frederick the Great and a cousin of George III. The position of the Dutch during the American War of Independence was one of neutrality. William V, leading the pro-British faction within the government, blocked attempts by pro-independence, and later pro-French, elements to drag the government to war in support of the Franco-American alliance. However, things came to a head with the Dutch attempt to join the Russian-led League of Armed Neutrality, leading to the outbreak of the Fourth Anglo-Dutch War in 1780. In spite of the fact that Britain was engaged in fighting on several fronts, the war went badly for the Dutch and the Republic was eventually forced to cede some territory to the British. The United Provinces recognized the United States in February 1782, after much political debate and pressure from American and French diplomats. Joan van der Capellen tot den Paul and Court Lambertus van Bamer took the initiative. After the signing of the Treaty of Paris, there was growing restlessness in the United Provinces with William's rule. In the meantime, a band of young revolutionaries, called Patriots, was challenging his authority more and more. In 1785 William left The Hague and removed his court to Gelders, a province remote from the political centre. In September 1786 he had to send an army to stop Herman Willem Dandels, organising an overthrow at the city's Rhodes Chap. In June 1787 his energetic wife Wilhelmina tried to travel to The Hague, outside Schoonhoven. She was stopped by militia, taken to a farm near Goage and the Wells Lewis and within two days made to return to Nijmegen. To Wilhelmina and her brother, Frederick William II of Prussia, this was an insult. Frederick sent in an army to attack the dissidents. Many patriots fled to the north of France, around saint Omer, in an area where Dutch was spoken. Until his overthrow they were supported by King Louis XVI of France. Exile in Great Britain With the coming of the French Revolution William V joined the first coalition against Republican France in 1793. The year 1795 was a disastrous one for the ancient regime of the Netherlands. Supported by the French army, the revolutionaries returned from Paris to fight in the Netherlands, and in 1795 William V fled to the safety of England. A few days later the Batavian Revolution in Amsterdam occurred, and the Dutch Republic was replaced with the Batavian Republic. Directly after his arrival in England the prince wrote a number of letters from his new residence in Kew to the governors of the Dutch colonies instructing them to hand over their colonies to the British, for safekeeping, though only a few complied this contributed to their confusion and 
demoralization. Almost all Dutch colonies were in the course of time conquered by the British, who returned some, but not all, first at the Treaty of Amiens and later with the Convention of London 1814. In 1799 the hereditary prince took an active part in the Anglo-Russian invasion of Holland, engineering the capture of a Batavian naval squadron in the Vlita incident. The surrender of the ships was formally accepted in the name of William V as Stadtholder, who was later allowed to sell them to the Royal Navy for an appreciable amount but that was his only success as the troops and civilians of the Batavian Republic proved quite unwilling to welcome the old regime back. After the Peace of Amiens in 1802, in which Great Britain recognized the Batavian Republic, an additional Franco-Prussian convention of 23 May 1802 declared that the House of Orange would be ceded in perpetuity the abbatial domains of Fulda and Corvey in lieu of its Dutch estates and revenues. As far as Napoleon was concerned this session was conditional on the liquidation of the Stadtholderate and other hereditary officers of the prince. William V, however, wanted more. His arrears in salary and other financial perquisites since 1795 were a lump sum of 4 million guilders. The foreign minister of the Batavian Republic Martin van der Goes was willing to secretly try to persuade the Stayats Bewind of the Batavian Republic to grant this additional indemnity, but Napoleon put a stop to it. When he got wind of the affair, the last of the Dutch stadtholders, William V died in exile at Brunswick, now in Germany. His body was moved to the Dutch royal family crypt in the Neuer Kirk in Delft on 29 April 1958. In 1813, his son, King William I returned to the Netherlands and became the first Dutch monarch from the House of Orange. Issue. William V and Wilhelmina of Prussia were parents to five children. An unnamed son, Frederica Louise Wilhelmina, married in The Hague on 14 October 1790 Karl, hereditary prince of Braunschweig, a son of Karl Wilhelm Ferdinand. Duke of Brunswick Lundberg and Princess Augusta of Great Britain, without issue. An unnamed son, William I, King of the Netherlands. William Georg Friedrich, Prince of Orange Nassau, unmarried and without legitimate issue. Ancestors. 